Henry. Hello, and welcome to the McFeagle Show. I am Snuff Anybody McFeagle, and on the first day of Christmas, Snuff Anybody gave to you a very nice Snuff Review. Yes, it's Christmas, and we're doing the Christmas Pinch Review from Samuel and Gawith. <sighs> oh, I love Christmas. I'm a father of five, and Christmas is all about the little kitties. But this Christmas, it's also a little bit about me. So, let's get on with the review. Okay, this is what the snuff looks like. As you can see, slightly light brown, slightly pale brown. It is... This is a Samuel Gawith, so I'm going to call this, uh, it's not even medium, this is a fine grind for Samuel Gawith, or fine to medium. The moisture is, yeah, that's medium. This is really, really an easy snuff to take, so... If you're a beginner, this is a good one for you. So, let's get on with the review and have the tin note and see how it works in the nose. So, that was what the snuff looked like. But, this is the bit that kind of gives us what we want. Okay, we'll pop the lid out of this one. Stamp it a wee bit down. And, let's do the tin note. Fate menthol, uh, I mean, is the first thing I notice. Wee, wee wee bit of pine, but very very slightly. But what I do get in loads and loads is tobacco. There is a very nice leathery earthy tone underneath the pine and menthol. <sighs> yeah, that's all I get in the tin notes. But let's have a good nice bump and see what happens. Yeah, let's take a good fat pinch here. This is yeah, we're in the pumpkin, pumpkin seed size. So, let's see. Ah. Well, happy Christmas, my nose. Oh, this is quite nice. I was fearing that the menthol would be much more violent than this snuff. But it isn't. It's just there. It's cool in the nose. It's giving you that... December -y feeling. In the nose the pine is much more noticeable. It is not one of these uh, bath salt foot bathy artificial pine. This is very mellow is maybe not the right word but it's just it's right. It has the right amount of pine. It doesn't just, just fill your nose with the piney scent. It just hints of pine. Uh, like if you have the Christmas tree standing in your living room and it gives off that faint scent of pine. This is the amount of pine I do get in the nose. But behind all this menthol and pine, again there is a beautiful tobacco base. The menthol is, by the way, almost gone now. The pine stays. And then leathery, earthiness. <sighs> A wee bit of something slightly biscuity. Yeah, a bit like Graham, Gra Graham cracker biscuity. Yeah. Okay. This is about all the scents I get from this snuff. I get 
I feel no drip at all. No forward drip, no backward drip. There isn't any burn on this snuff. The nicotine is maybe a bit low. Maybe just a little bit low. It's a four, I think. But I must admit that uh, my ability to judge nicotine has been seriously, seriously compromised. My, uh, my intake of snuff the last month or two. I have a high t tolerance at the moment. And this just doesn't satisfy me. It might satisfy you. I think it's just a wee bit under. So it's a 4 on the scale from 1 to 10. Um, but I will say this in the advantage of this snuff. It is that it is piss easy to take. Uh, it's a good beginner snuff if you're starting your habit here in Christmas. You can take good nice bumps. You can sniff too hard as I just did. And it won't go anywhere near your throat or sinuses. This is a piss easy snuff to take. Here on second pinch I do get a wee bit more pine and almost no menthol. So a good thing. And the leathery base of the tobacco is in some way enhanced here on the second pinch. It's a really, really good snuff. Uh, of the seasonal snuffs I've tried, this is this is the best. Uh, I find it very Christmassy or Decembery. <coughs> so I'll give this on a scale from one to t one to five, four and a half. <coughs> because at least I would have liked just a wee bit more a nick. But that's it. So, if we don't see each other again before Christmas, have a nice Christmas and a happy new year. Goodbye.